The more the disciples of Anu invest into this mutation tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is not a threat, but a statement. There is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. To seek answers in human will, instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. Phoenix, if you are receiving this message, then respond on the secure channel I have provided. It is essential that the information I am about to give you is kept confidential. My name is not important now, but I am known among the pure as Subject 24, the 24th volunteer in a program set up by Tobias West that gave us hope. We had a solution. A solution? A secret program that would fix the world. And in the final moment, he backed down. Nothing prepared me for his treachery, his selfish cowardice. But his attempts to erase us have failed. Failed. It was known as Project Purity. One man's dream of replacing every inch of human flesh with neurally controlled prosthetics. When I volunteered for the project, I had nothing left. My entire family, entire family, had succumbed to the Pandora virus. I watched my wife through bulletproof glass as she slowly turned into an abomination. Abominations! They're everywhere, waiting, watching. I had nothing left to lose. Along with many other brave men and women, I put myself forwards. A lot was sacrificed. He pushed us to the limit. Dozens of us died or were left crippled, and we came close to success. The Juggernaut Warrior was the final design. More than a soldier, more than a human. With titanium skin impervious to infection, perfectly pure. Pure! Pure as a smile in winter, as a human should be. There were problems. Total encapsulation created some. Mental instability, hallucinations, and dreams. Not everyone could take it, but there was no shortage of volunteers to take the program forwards. And then, Tobias West, the coward, the traitor, the small-minded charlatan, pulled the plug. Terrified of what he couldn't understand, the great leader ordered everyone involved with the project killed. Killed! Maybe he thought if he buried us, he'd bury the truth of his shame along with us. His shame! But we fought back. I and several others managed to escape. For years we remained silent, hiding, running, waiting for the right moment. The right moment. And that moment has come. Has come! Facing a losing battle against the Pandora virus, the weak-minded West has reactivated the old Project Purity facilities, and that makes him vulnerable. Phoenix, I am offering you an exchange. I know the location of the facility and how to get in. You have the firepower. The power! Hailstorms of fire and acid. Raid the lab and share the tech with us. All this time in hiding has left us damaged and in need of urgent repairs. If you succeed, we will both gain. Humanity will gain. We are the pure. The pure! We are the future. Help us, Phoenix. Help our species. This new Jericho neural tech we've been hearing about, it sounds like a pretty cool technology really, but has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? That seems like the sort of thing the Exalted would say. But I don't see the problem with the technology itself. Why is a technological fix worse than a biological one? Hmm, because the biological fix is permanent. I guess I actually kind of see your point. 
But still, the real problem here is how the technology will be used in the long run. Moving to position. Acquiring target. Gotcha. Heading out. Reloading. Right there. Ready to engage. On my way. Repositioning. Thank you. 